Welcome back all. Um, just going over a little part from an idea that I had uh, to make a little while ago. It's uh, basically a little plastic part that was printed on my 3D printer and I designed it in a program called Tinkercad which is a cloud-based CAD program and the uh, purpose is to allow you to put end caps on aluminum extrusion and that allow you to make uh, small frames and, and whatnot and uh, where I've been a little bit busy learning and uh, playing with my uh, 3D printer. This is one of the other useful things that I've come up with in the last little while. Um, it's designed to be a corner piece and uh, for my purposes I want uh, the open part of the, extru the extrusion facing out. So of course uh, you could take the file and rotate the edges so that the open was facing inwards but for the most part uh, this should fit uh, the needs of quite a few people, <laughs> just as it is. Um, it's uh, all too easy to build stuff with the other aluminum extrusions we're used to seeing in projects. And uh, the problem is uh, those can be a little bit expensive and they're not always uh, readily uh, available. Um, the L extrusion or the L shaped extrusion um, that you uh, can buy pretty much at every hardware store is what this is made for. Um, I believe it's about 13 millimeters from the corner to the edge. Um, not all of it is that dimension, but it's all somewhat, it's all less than two millimeters. It's usually between one and a half to two millimeters. So I had to play around and, uh, try and design this so that an extrusion like this, um, would get a good snug fit and still have some room to fit most of the different sizes. And I went through many, uh, iterations and on the end is the, uh, final, um, iteration of uh, printing with PLA that allows for the tiny bit of PLA shrinkage and still remains quite tight like as you can see here I'm having a bit of an issue trying to push that around of course that's just with one hand but uh, it's a real snug fit you could uh, easily use it to mount uh, even I guess a, a board or anything if you just expanded that um, I'm going to put this file on Tinkercad so you guys can cut it up and use it for however you want. But one of the things I was showing there, and if you're used to 3D printing, that's quite a bit of an overhang to have to print at the bottom. And uh, it's still with the tiny little bit of support material that uh, Cura created. This still slides in nice and tight. It's actually a pretty good friction fit, but of course uh, where the layers are horizontal, you got to watch for torsion because it could crack. Um, but uh, being PLA, it's pretty strong. So what I would do is if it's any load bearing or a section that might have a bit of torsion, you might want to go around and brush that with some epoxy once you get everything done. The holes were just mainly to make it a little bit faster printing, but uh, they also allow um, glue to adhere possibly on the base once you've got your, uh, your base set out. Now here I'm just shoving in another piece to show how easy it is to set up a corner. And that really is a right angle. There's a bit of flex in it, but um, you get a right angle from that, and it's uh, nice and strong. Now, again, you might want to go over that with epoxy, or you might want to print it out with maybe a little bit of plastic added to beef it up, maybe add some fillets or whatever. But uh, this here is just pretty much the minimal form, and it's already pretty strong. Uh, you can imagine uh, four of these making the corner of a frame, or print eight of them, and you have the corners of a box. Um, and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, now, one of the things I did is I'm trying to get a little bit better light here so you guys can see how it slots in. Um, you can see in this shot that there's a little bit of a variance between the distance from the center of an L extrusion to the outside edge. And uh, I tried to leave that half millimeter, which is what I'd measured from the stock that I had was uh, approximately uh, 0.1 millimeters to 0.4 millimeter variance um, might just be the difference between imperial and metric but uh, um, anyhow I left about a half millimeter and it allows just a little bit of flex too but it's still a very very tight grip in fact uh, I'm gonna try and um, show you the other reason I made this I mean on the corners is great but sometimes you want to have like a, a platform part way up in your design or you might want to hang something and uh, when I try to get this out here, because it is um, sticks in pretty good, um, you're going to see uh, that the vertical um, 
the vertical connection actually has a hole going through it, which allows you to install that at um, varying heights on uh, on the vertical extrusion. So you could actually have um, layers or, or levels in your design. And again, uh, you could uh, drill holes through it through the aluminum and put a mounting screw. But there I was having a bit of a tough time uh, getting the vertical extrusion to pass the edge because there's still a little bit of a lip. Um, PLA tends to fatten out a little bit on its lower layer and that's the bottom layer. As you can see it's poking through and with a good shove here I can get it to uh, go up the extrusion. Now it's, it's uh, quite tight like just friction fitting on its own. Um, it holds in pretty good so you could put a couple drops of glue and I mean that would become pretty permanent. You might want to put uh, you know drill a couple little holes in it and maybe put some small screws or, or a peg or something through it or even just a pin but um, really just a bit of glue would be all you'd need. Um, I'd probably epoxy it once I know that uh, things were, were the way I wanted them to be. You might want to leave you know a couple bits flexible so you could take your your structure apart but all that would be up to you. The whole point of this was just uh, a nice corner that would allow you know uh, crazy makers like myself to uh, quickly make something uh, with parts they could pick up at their local uh, hardware store. Um, this is the aluminum that's quite often put on the end of plywood when you make like a counter or an edge of something or to protect the edges of, uh, of wood. So pretty much every um, lumber store will have this in pretty good lengths. I think the rod I last picked up was about four feet long and you just cut it with your hacksaw or if you've got a uh, some other sort of saw you could uh, get some pretty nice cuts on it but again uh, there's pretty good bit of meat on this connector so even if your ends weren't perfect I'm sure it would uh, it would al allow for that adjustment but again then you'd probably want to glue it or definitely use a pin if you can't get a nice square edge on your on your pieces of extrusion now my purpose for this um, was to be able to make some small structures, obviously stands and cases and things. But uh, for most of us, um, these little structures are probably end up going to be something that, you know, might be CNC or printer related. And this was just a little design that I'd come up with in Tinkercad to show what the corners were really intended to use. Uh, nothing pretty specific. I might give it a go at making something like this, but it was just a thought. Um, really, I wanted something that was quick to print out. That's why those holes are there. They just allow it to be a little bit quick, quicker printing and get less less problems with uh, printing on that uh, bridging or over it. And uh, it's uh, just meant to be a simple part. Um, you can print a few and you're on your way, pop by the hardware store, pick up some of the extrusion, and you can be working on your project probably, you know, within the day instead of waiting something to come on order. It's not a terribly uh, complicated part to use. Um, yeah, the, I think I mentioned, I'm not sure, you might want to rotate the outer edges um, on the horizontal so it gives you the open part of the L facing in, the bottom part, but for my uses I like it this way around. And I find it's a little easier to use as rails and run bearings on and that's something I might do a video later once I get caught up on my 8266 stuff, my ESP stuff. Um, but here you're just seeing some shots of uh, how you can assemble a corner. It goes together pretty easily. And uh, it's not, I mean, it's really not hard to use. It only takes like a minute or two to clean out. Well, I guess that depends on your printer. This is some uh, black PLA that I got. Sorry, some black PLA I got from a local supplier here, 3D Creator. It's quite hard. But anyhow, I will upload this file to... Uh, um, for download. And as always, thanks for watching. Like if you liked.